come here, baby. Little mommy chula. Or, or Bobby Chulo, whatever makes your upper lip get nice and soggy. I got a big, big dick, dick energy, energy inquiry for anyone listening to me. Your local crack whore. What's your favorite, favorite, favorite movie? What is it? Tell me, please. Come on, I want to hear it. You might name some homosexual dick writing selections, such as Avengers Endgame. You know, you may not be a threat, but you better stop pretending to be a hero. A hero? Like you? You're a laboratory experiment, Rogers. Everything special about you came out of a bottle. Up your ass. Oh, very nice. Matter of oh, fact, God. eat shit. How's that? Very eat nice. shit. Very eat nice. shit. Nice. Eat shit. Smug smile. Definitely eat shit. Or the notebook, or whatever. Or maybe something a bit older, like the thing, to remind everyone that you wish you were born in the same decade as the AIDS epidemic. Or perhaps films like Requiem for a Dream or the Dallas Buyers Club because heroin addiction is just so cinematic and beautiful and artistic. Brokeback Mountain, one of the biggest comic book character crossovers of all time. The Joker and Mysterion, DC, Marvel, or Romeo Juliet, The Godfather, Pulp Fiction, Psycho, Schindler's List, Shaw, Shanks, Redemption, Matrix, Alien. These are all possible responses from anybody, from anyone who's a mongoloid. You'd be lobotomites, henroids, roaches. Roaches! <gasps> roaches! The actual best movie of all time would be... Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Yes, 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 yes. Rebel in my superior movie taste. My opinion is fact. It says me, if you don't know the pact, you don't know, then go back to school. What? Yes, the world is meant for me, and if it's, if I don't like it, then it's not allowed to exist. You probably are embarrassed right now, and you should be. You should be embarrassed for not naming Beverly Hills Chihuahuas. But don't worry, don't worry, you just, you didn't know better. You didn't know better. You were just letting everybody say nonsense like these were good movies or something. They're, they're okay. But compared to Beverly Hills Chihuahuas, they're nothing. They're poo-poo, pee-pee water. The memes on Instagram, quality type of movie, you know? But don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna just hit you with cold, hard, veiny, hairy facts. Only the best for you guys. <laughs> Guys is a simple term. It could mean boys, or if you're modern, hip, it means people. But it, like many male default terms, should not be normalized Been ignoring the cognitive impact on women as well as gender non-conforming folks by only explicitly addressing the male identifying individuals present. I'm going to start by breaking down the sophisticated themes of the movie, because there's so many. There's so much imagery, foreshadowing, metaphors just a very overall beautiful film you know one of the actors in the movie is george lopez and i feel like his role in the movie is to pay homage to the critically acclaimed shark boy and lava girl movie just just one of the best movies of all time you know we got that kid from twilight and those other two people that didn't really do anything with their career but you know an another thing about this movie that's just so incredible so groundbreaking so brave is that it, it stars minorities. There's so many. There's only like, I don't know, like three white people. I don't know. That's kind of that's crazy. You know, that, that never happens ever in movies. Never, never, never in a million years. But Beverly Hills Chihuahuas did it. In 2008, nonetheless, <sighs> when everyone else was afraid of the color brown, Beverly Hills Chihuahuas, they definitely said no. They were like, no. Miss me with that gay shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. Fuck you me, fuck boy. They said, nah. While I was still sucking on my mom's titties, Beverly Hills Chihuahuas was setting a standard. Isn't that a nice thought? Not the not the me in diapers, obviously, but y you know what I'm talking about. Don't 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 do that. I, I see you through your your stupid little camera looking at me like I don't know what I'm talking about. Looking at me like, oh, she's dumb. Oh, she doesn't have any good movie taste. She's crazy. Oh, she's a she's a gamer girl. She's an E thought. Oh, kill the E thoughts. Ugh, I better gamer peas and even good. Stop. Stop be stop being intolerant. That's 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 a hate crime, and I'm tired of it. My only pet peeve with the movie is that there's no Jose's or uh Jesus. Obviously, you know, Hollywood loves making movies about Mexicans because no other Hispanic exists. There's just only Mexicans. I'm actually Mexican, according to that logic. I am Mexican. I'm 
dick writing this movie i can't it's almost painful because i'm trying to think of things to say and i have nothing else to say because the movie's really bad <laughs> the movie's so bad i think what makes it redeemable it's how f- it's so bad it's funny and it's also a product of his time and it's also a very obvious kids movie talking animals rated pg or g rated there are so many issues with this movie i i was watching and i just couldn't up laughing i'm just thinking why okay i guess and oh one of my biggest issues with this movie in general is the fact that george lopez is not in the movie and i watched the movie up to 48 minutes and it's just barely him he was in it for like maybe three minutes out of all that and i'm thinking to myself how did she fall in love with him you know not fall in love like get interested in him when she spent absolutely no time with him it would have made more sense if she was with him the entire time for all my I, I, un, unpopular shit and there's a character named delgado and he's the only character i remember because he's a german shepherd because german shepherds are severely superior to chihuahuas chihuahuas are rats rats uh it's it's perfectly legal to murder rats. Unfortunately, we cannot kill chihuahuas. It's it's like a you know animal abuse or something like that. I mean, I don't mean to go on a tangent about chihuahuas, but I will if I have to. Chihuahuas are the most unloyal, obnoxious, disrespectful, loud creatures in existence in in the dog world, at least. You know, other than the dogs that have like actual medical conditions and that are just an abomination. I I have three chihuahuas, right? Two of them are mixed, so they're not as retarded, I would say. Not as deformed, not as um, mentally inept. The biggest one is obviously the smartest. That's just, I know it sounds kind of crazy if you were to say that to, like, human beings. Like, the bigger you are, the smarter you are. Sometimes I feel that way. A lot of short people are pretty dumb. Don't, don't, don't call me. I know I'm 5'2", okay? I know that's below the normal height for a girl. But that's not, I'm talking about dogs right now, okay? I know I, com- I, know I literally compared myself to a chihuahua, one of the worst animals. In existence, but it was funny. Self deprecation, you know. <laughs> um, what's another thing about the movie? I know I, I literally have a, a thing written on my, my notes. It says, Movie is 80% rich white girls asserting their dominance by abusing animals and Mexicans. I have a lot of notes like that. I have a lot of, I know I have this other thing. It says, Garden dog is fucking useless. <laughs> I'm the landscaper. And he's just acting so bad. I'm like, Jesus, you're supposed to be representing us brown. Well, not us. I'm not brown. But, you know, us uh, Rican. Well, not Rican. Only Mexicans exist. Puerto Ricans don't exist. Us Mexicans, you know. You're supposed to be representing us, guy. Come on. But, you know, the movie's overall harmless. It's very... I think I find a lot of nostalgia to it. I, I don't remember their first movie at all when i watched it i remember the other ones and it's i think it's because i was older when that movie came out i was basically barely out of my mom's womb you know you know begging to go back in there like oh my god i gotta go to school mom let me crawl back inside but yeah i rate this movie 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend and if you disagree with me I'm just going to insult you, not your point. I'm just going to insult you as a person. I'm just going to say you're dumb, ugly, and you probably play Xbox. Gay box. Ha ha. Funny. I don't really know what else to say about this. Um, Thank you for listening to me ramble for 14 minutes about absolutely nothing. Ha- have you ever just listened to someone talk about nothing and you gained absolutely nothing? And the only thing you really gained is the fact that you understand how dumb the person is. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I hope you feel feel that way at the end of this a bigger sweet message is love whatever dumb fucking movie you want i don't care if it's fucking ant bully love the fuck out of that movie what you like is valid and i know i insult people's movie taste of all time as long as you're cute about it don't be don't be like come on over here come on coward coward i know that i want to punch you in the nose i'll beat your goddamn ass you son of a bitch you're an intellectual dumbass don't don't be talking to me like that you gotta you gotta be like I just want to say, fuck you. 
I know that's a un that's the most not peaceful statement to make. What the fuck do you what do you mean? How? How have you Oh man what, you're just ruining it. You're ru look at my lips, you're ruining it. But it's more like if their intention is to make you feel like shit, who cares? The conversation is over and you should probably decompress and play some Minecraft and listen to like some X or some dumb shit like that or or cry about how Juice World died. You know, just sweet relieve some stress nonsense. And you know, I hope you have a great night. I hope you have only one wet dream this time and not three like you did the other night. And that's it.